loves, welcome back to your channel. This is your favorite girl, Imani Bailey. I'm on a roll today because I, you know, time is of the essence. I barely got time, so I'm filming three videos in one day. <laughs> Um, if you're new here, welcome to the family. If you're not new, welcome back. I love y'all so much and I'm so appreciative of y'all. You know, I always let you know at the beginning of all my videos. Today, I'm going to do an updated version of my old video from years ago. I've learned so much from like two, three years ago that I have to share this information uh, with my fellow, my fellow sisters, okay? Um, and men too, anyone who's watching this video. So basically, this is my updated version of how to get over a breakup. I found myself. How to get over the fact that somebody did you wrong or you've ended things well if you've ended things you're probably not watching this video but how to go the fact that someone get, did you wrong the first thing to realize after a breakup now it's going to be hard it's going to be an uphill battle that's the first thing that you have to realize not every day is going to be easy there are going to be some days that you feel fine and then there are going to be another day where that song comes on or you smell a fragrance or you visit something and the last time you visit that place was with your significant other or this reminds you of significant other and you might just break down and start crying so you're gonna have days like that and that's the first thing to realize that you are going to be okay I want you to know you are going to be okay you have lived so much life without that person that you have so much life after that person hear me out let me say that again you have lived so much life without that person that you will live so much more life without them that person did not create you that person's image that person's thoughts of you does not define you that person probably does not deserve you i need you to tell yourself you are going to be okay so i'm going to put like a couple things that has helped me out with my breakups um i find my friends like calling me all the time like how are you okay after all of this trust me i wasn't <laughs> i wasn't before do not i i i oh my gosh y'all you have to promise me do not let that person or that heartbreak spill over to the next relationship or the next yeah spill over to the next relationship that you're gonna have with someone else don't milk the cow if your ex-boyfriend cheated on you don't continuously bring that up to your new boyfriend but he used to cheat on me but he used to i feel like men and women do that all the time men will milk it men love milking stuff all the time and they love over exaggerating probably not even true but she used to cheat on me and so that's why i do this you got to realize, you got to take it for what it is, you got to heal, and then you got to get on. You got to move on. You don't need, you, we're not moving backwards, we're moving on. Hey, second thing, you need to heal. You need to heal. And you're probably going to go through the stages of grief. Not all at once, you might skip a couple. Um, I forgot all the stages, but yes, I went through basically every stage. I was in denial. When my boyfriend first broke up me, I was in denial. I was like, oh, he got bigger. I literally, y'all, would still go over his mom's house every week as if we were never broken up. And we would watch Housewives. We would watch Love and Hip Hop. Literally. Like, when I think about it now, I'm like, what the hell? Literally, I was in denial. I still thought this man was my boyfriend. I was out here telling people I still had a boyfriend. Like, sis, he broke up with you. <laughs> Secondly, bargaining. Do not, I repeat, do not bargain with no man or woman saying well take me back i'll do better i'll do this i'll do that if you're a woman watching this video you are the prize you don't need a bargain for nobody tesla is not begging people off the streets to buy their cars why because they know what they have to offer gucci don't have to beg nobody to buy them Fendi don't have to beg nobody to buy them because they they know what they offer they know what their brand is so don't concern yourself with what your ex is doing it's hard i know it is but don't concern yourself with what your ex is doing. He's talking to somebody who looks just like me, but she ain't me. Like, what? It's, it's going to run you ragged, y'all. It's going to run you ragged. Don't do this. Like, this is a pep talk. Do not do this. Don't look at what your ex is doing. At the end of the day, it's going to make you feel worse than you already feel. You want to rid, your, rid him or her of your life. After a bad breakup, I, but I need closure. Let me tell you something. This was a hard pill for me to swallow. Not everything in life is going to give you closure. And sometimes the closure that you seek in the form that you seek it is not going to come about. It can be that your closure is that this man cheated on you, broke up with you, went off on you, and blocked you. That is your closure. God just sent you. That's your signal right there. That is your closure. It might not be in the form that you want it to be, but that is your closure. When someone shows you their true colors, please believe them. Believe them. This is a pep talk. Believe them, sis. If he showed you his true colors, believe it. 
If she showed you her true colors, believe it. And I'm not saying this to say that people don't make mistakes. When I first got my heart broken, I felt like the world was ending. You could not tell me anything. I thought I was going to die. And I literally, I would hear about people getting their heart broken and I would think, mm, this is just stupid. Like, why are people crying? Or why are people doing this? Or why are people, you hear crazy things. I literally felt like the world was ending. Like, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I was suffocated. I was depressed. I cried every day for months. When you turn off this video the next day, you're gonna get up. You're gonna look yourself in the mirror. You're gonna tell yourself that you're beautiful. You're going to believe what you're telling yourself, okay? This is the key word. You got to believe what you're telling yourself. You are beautiful. So you're going to say, I'm beautiful. Imani, you are beautiful. Imani, you've lived... How many years I've lived without this man? We're gonna... Yeah. Imani, you've lived 18 years without this man. And you will live a lot more without this man. God did not create you to be stuck to this man because if he did... He would have been a better man for you. You got this, sis. You got it. And you're going to go about your day. Every day that you wake up in the morning, you're going to affirm something. I don't care what it is. If you're not religious, that's fine. But you're going to find something to care about. You're going to make yourself busy every day you get up. You're going to tell yourself that you're beautiful. You're going to believe it. And you're going to tell yourself how long you live without this man and how long you will live after this man. That is the key. That's what you're going to do. That's the first thing that we're going to do every day, sis. Every day, sis. <laughs> I don't care how many days you gotta do. You can do it up until you got a new man. You can do it up until you got a husband, child. But you're gonna do this every day. And it's gonna make you feel good about yourself. We're going to rid ourselves of that person. Well, I could just be our I could just be his friend. I could just be his friend and then maybe he can I, I went I went through the stage too. I, maybe he can see me for whatever. I could be his friend. No, we're gonna rid ourselves of this person. He don't wanna be with you. He's made it clear. She's made it clear. They don't want to be with you. What are we going to do? We're going to rid ourselves of that person. I mean, y'all, if you think it's better being friends, but for this healing process, you got to cut the cancer, okay? We're going to mute them. You don't have to go as far as blocking them, but we're going to mute them, or you can block them, or you can unfollow them, but you're going to make it to where you don't need to see what he's posting, sis, because he could be shading you. It's going to piss you off. And then you gonna give him a reaction. He could be trying to make that make it seem like he's living a good life with another girl or whatever, and she's doing this with another guy. Just rip them. Part your ways. Rip them. Block them. Mute them. Unfollow them. And I don't care if it makes them feel a, a certain type of way. You don't owe nobody no explanation. And after that. This is another thing. This is my favorite thing to do. When I was going through a breakup, y'all could go ahead and follow me on Apple Music. You don't have to if you don't want to. But you can also listen to music. Music is an outlet, y'all. Music is so powerful. What we listen to is so powerful. Dance in your underwear. Call your girlfriends up. That ass like, look, I don't care how old you are. You're not too old to dance in your underwear. You're not too old to scream uh, Whitney Houston at the top of your lungs. You are not too old to scream Mariah Carey at the top of your lungs, y'all. I know y'all watching this video like, yeah, she right. <laughs> That's what you're gonna do. Music is going to be your outlet. You're gonna create a playlist. And there's different playlists for how you're feeling. That's fine. If you wanna sit and cry, you know, crying does release, um, what's it, dopamine? It releases something that actually makes you feel better afterwards. So if you wanna make a sap playlist, I got it for you, sis. Follow me on Apple Music. It's called Cry About It. <laughs> I'll link it. my stuff be in the description. But my Apple Music name is the same as my Instagram name, the same as my YouTube name. It's Imani Bailey. If you wanna listen to, um, him get money music I got a playlist for that you want to listen to gospel music I got a playlist for that but listen to music music will literally help you get through things y'all like music is so important of our lives always listen to like music that's going to uplift you music that's going to make you feel better or music that actually might have you cry but you might feel better at the end and then the next thing, the next thing we're going to do is reflection. When you're going through a breakup, ultimately, it's a lot of questions, a lot of things going on in your head. Like, oh my gosh, it's all his fault. Or, oh my gosh, it's, it takes two to tango. And we have to realize that, sis. It takes two to tango. And your relationship probably went to ish. And maybe he was a horrible person. Maybe he did all these horrible things to you. But it all wasn't his fault. How did you allow yourself to get there in the first place? How did you allow yourself to even be with a relationship with someone so horrible? That, you, you took some in that you gotta own up to that <laughs> I was in a relationship with someone literally so horrible and I literally had to sit and reflect what did I do wrong what did I do wrong that's the sixth thing we're gonna do reflect and you can write it down or you can just talk to God or you can talk about it with yourself 
but you're writing it down so you can actually go back and look at it would be the best thing to do. You're going to write it down. Where did I go wrong? What did I do? Why did I even get myself in this situation? What can I do better for next time? So that's what we're going to do. Those are, the, those are the questions. Where did I go wrong? How did I get myself in this situation? And what have I learned? What am I going to do better for next time? There's always something to reflect on. It's not always someone else's fault. It takes two to tango. And that could be anything. You might have to level up. You might have to actually go back and realize somewhere along the way, I forgot that I was the prize. Literally happened to one of my relationships. Short story. I was in a relationship for six months with somebody. They didn't last long. Somewhere along the way, I literally forgot that I was the prize. I am the prize. Not him. I literally was in a relationship with a man who thought he was the prize. And because he thought he was the prize, he treated me as such. And he literally, y'all, I promise you this man, I'm not lying. He literally one day in an argument told me that I was not enough because I did not go over his place. We didn't live together. I didn't go over his place to clean his place, to wash his dishes, and to cook him food. That's what he told me. I didn't do that. So I'm not worth being with. I'm not worth being a girlfriend because I didn't do those things. First of all, those are wife things. Those are wife things. As a nurse, am I doing things the surgeon is doing? Am I cutting people open doing surgery as a nurse? No, I'm not. Therefore, same thing applies. I'm not doing wifely things for somebody. I'm just a girlfriend. To stop and reflect. Wait a second, this man literally told me I don't clean his place, wash his dishes. I don't even live there. Why am I cleaning his place? Go over his place, buy groceries, and cook him food? Huh? He don't even provide the groceries. So I'm like thinking, wait a second. The thing is, I knew right then and there, it dawned on me. Sis, that was, you forgot that you were the prize. You forgot, Imani, you forgot that you were the prize so much that it made it okay for this man to say this to you. And that day when he said it to me, it literally clicked. And I was like, wait a second. To someone who's not able to remember that, that might be you and your breakup right now. Because if he said that to me like three, four years back, and I, like, something in me would have been like, oh my gosh, he's right. Like, I'm not good enough. Like, I need to be cleaning his house. I need to be cooking him food. I need to be doing these things. No, sis, you don't. A man provides a house, a woman gives him a home. He's not providing, he was not providing ish for me. What, what am I giving him a home for? What am I, what am I providing him food, cooking? What am I doing that for? You get what I'm saying? So y'all need to reflect. That was the time I wrote that down and I realized, wow, you need to figure out where you went wrong. This is so important. Please hear me out. Because when you can figure out where you went wrong, you will know what not to allow the, first, the next time. You'll be able to get through that. So in actuality, you need to be grateful for this breakup because this has taught you something. It has. It's taught you something about yourself. It's taught you that not everybody's raised like you. And it's taught you what you can learn for next time. I'm saying all this because the video is like 18, 20 minutes. <laughs> you know, I, I could give pep talks all day long. <laughs> it's like I said, my friends call me about these things all the time. But I really, really want to like, to conclude the video to stress this. I want y'all to rid yourselves of that person. Try not to figure out what they're doing all the time. And it's going to be hard. But you're going to have to do it. I want y'all to reflect on what you've done. I want y'all to reflect on where you went wrong. I want y'all to figure out what you can do better next time. And then I need y'all to dance and sing and laugh and cry. Dance with your underwear on. Call your girlfriends up. Reflect on yourself. Do something fun. Don't sit in the house. It might be easy to sit in the house. Literally, where I, when I got my heart broken, I literally was like sitting in the house crying. Like I was not doing nothing. Like everything was at a halt. Like I, and last but not least, the first thing I said, you're going to get in the mirror in the morning. You're going to believe that you are beautiful. You are going to tell yourself that you have lived X amount of years without this person. That you will live X amount of more years without this person. This person has not brought you into this world. Are okay. You are going to be okay, sis. And with that, please like this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, <laughs> let us know. And I'll see you next time in the next video, y'all. I love y'all so much. And always remember, you are the prize. And stay true to yourselves. Like, come on now. Y'all know that's always been my tagline. <laughs>